We actually had the East African community, yeah. and Kenya played a big part in the breakup of the East African community. I'm gonna blame the likes of Kinanjonjo. We played a very big part in the breakup of the East African community mm. because, uh, for whatever reason, during Kenyatta's time, and that's the time when Kenyatta likwa amekaribia kunyuri alikuwa mianza kuzeka zeka ni nivi Kinanjonjo. Kinanjonjo, you know, like they overwhelmed him, uh, and they broke up in in 1977, and then we reunited back in 1999. Now, before we broke up, the European Union which was still, you know, like very fresh and very new, very were coming to East Africa mm -hmm. for benchmarking. That's how advanced, you know, the union the union was. East African Airways, uh, the rail was the same system. Mm -hmm. uh, we had, uh, you know, like uh, water transportation. Right now, if you go to Tanzania, their water transportation system is more sophisticated, like more Kenya's, advanced yeah. than Kenya's. Because mm -hmm. what happened when the, when the, the union, the union broke, broke up, up. Uh, Kenyans, uh, wali, because we had the airport, we confiscated all the planes to Kabakinazo, the planes, yeah. and then the water assets, a lot of them, you know, like remained in um, Tanzania. in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So you notice that the water transportation system, like even when you go, for example, uh, to get the ferry from Dar es Salaam to Zanzibar, it is so advanced. I've never even seen a ferry like that, even in the even in the U.S. Yeah, Kilimanjaro seven is. Yeah, Kilimanjaro. Man, it is so advanced. Yeah. You think you're walking into the future. I got there and experienced that. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I got to. Ali, Ali, like... Ali, another thing we need, we need to also say that yes. cost, there has caused Tanzania to pass it. There has caused countries like Kona to pass it. And corruption. Let's not <laughs> pretend. We, cannot, yes. we had all this infrastructure. Mm -hmm. The port of Mombasa was a very busy port. It was busier than Dubai in 1995. The Dubai port is one of the biggest, uh, is one of the busiest ports in that region right now. The only the posts that were available at that particular time was South Africa, Cape Town, and Kenya. Cape Town is located, uh, Kenya is located is like in the middle of one. That is why the posts in Dubai, Bahrain do so well. It's because right now, ships going there, I know they will get unloaded faster, they'll get the services done quickly, and they can continue with the journey where they're going. We lost that opportunity. While Tanzania were building their port, we were supposed to be the, to be the Lamu port. We politicked about building the Lamu port for years, 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 and years, and years, and corruption about it, and fighting. Even other people saying they don't want to build the port because that port is going to that port is going to benefit a few uh, people, and not everybody. And guess what? Tanzania built their port. They are working effectively. Kenya sit na pinga na mbaga na zaku kuku wagi u tutaka kwa kamizigo api tuneka mizigo na ivasha tuneka mizigo na ro <laughs> that's just so like, ridiculous <laughs> you wow. we, 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 then another one comes we have an inland port that is working SGR in a pata pesa kwa mizigo in a reduced congestion kwa barabara uh, South Sudan had bought the, had, had rented nearly a port of the naivasha inland port just to clear for them that was good business mjinga mungina kakuja kasa matulisha kila kitu mombasa kutoka mombasa mbaka South Sudan it's just another long way. You lazima rudi sidi Nairobi la fundo anze kupanda. Kuna njia kutoka Mombasa kwenda straight back at you. So, how pia kakasirika, where will they go to another country? So, it's bad governance is what's making us lose to other countries. As much as we can say, tuliko sana now and in years, Tanzania improved the economy. Wakaji saidi wamefuka pali, wewa natushinda na vitu mingi sana. Absolutely. Sisi, alafu kengele pia foreign investment that came in, walifanya. Sisi, in Kenya, Let's not shoot the code thing. We are corrupt. Tuna penda tu kuiba. Kila mtu jifikiria. Eh, Mika. Na wajua hey. likuwa two year anniversary ya Magufuli. Oh, wow. The only two year anniversary ya Magufuli is death. Yes. Wow, you know, time moves so fast. It's already two years. Yes. I almost want to ask you questions about that, but we're on a different topic right now. Okay, let's no. keep on different topic. So I, I, I will come to you later about that. But now you know, the, so the is, thing is Tanzania. So is, mam, is, is Mama on Magufuli's term or her term? Still on his term. Magufuli's term. She's, she's on Magufuli's term. She's on Magufuli's term. Yeah. Yeah, she's still she was on her supposed term. to be on her term because more than two and a half, I think more than three years, it's your term. But he's supposed but to go, so, so, he's but supposed to go then, for so election. So she can do, she can do only one re-election. Uh, according to the, the constitution. constitution okay. Yes, according to the way I yeah. read it. So have you guys gone to election to vote for Not her? yet, until no. 2025. For so how? she's still on his term? Yeah, yeah she's still on Magufuli's but term. But does his term count as hers because she came into his term? Two and yes. a half years. But if, she was if, in, if, if, he if was you, in for like, what, a year? 
and his second no, year. No, 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 so Magufuli, ma, when Magufuli passed even, away, Hako Ameka, yeah. ilikuwa ni miezi. It, yes, it, it, it was just a few months. Yeah. Yeah. So according to the constitution, as far as I know, she's supposed to be, uh, this is her first term. Yeah, this is more than three years. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, so she can only do oh, one so re-election. So serve more than two more and a half years. It's more than yes, two and a half. It's considered, it's considered a full considered term. term. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. I think more okay. than three years for for TZ. For, Tanz- for Tanzania, for Kenya, it's two and a half. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, so 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 she can only stand for one more election. re-election. Yeah, okay. not re-election, one more election because she wasn't she wasn't elected in. Yeah. But but interestingly enough, Tanzania has been building ports uh, in Bagamoyo. Uh, and we, so we, where is we, that? Bagamoyo is in Tanzania. <laughs> where is that in Tanzania? It's on the coast of Tanzania. Okay. Okay. No, no. Yeah. I, I needed you to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, Lamu, not, not Lamu, Naivasha, I know. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's you, what I meant. Yes, you have a point. Bagamoyo okay. is an actual port. Okay. Tanzania <laughs> kuna yomchezo. Okay. Kuna yomchezo ya sijuku peleka vitu inland. so that you get votes. It's uh, inland port. Yeah, so, so there are ports they're building and yeah. uh, there were interesting things that the late Magufuli uh, checked the Chinese on, you know, with those contracts that they had where they say if they build a port, you cannot build a port within a radius of, I don't know, 600 miles for, I don't know, the next 30 years. And Magufuli said no to that. So a lot of these ports are being funded by their own money. Uh, mm. and, and and while Hapa Kenya, Tunakazana, we speak better English, uh, in Tanzania, they're building. 